And welcome back, YouTube. Thank you for tuning in, as always. I appreciate that. And today... I'm going to, um... Play an older game. An old game that I have fond memories of. And it's created by Delphin Software. Cinematic. So Delphin Software Cinematic. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so Paris, April 1927. It was on a cold spring morning. Destiny finally decided to knock at my door. A few phrases nervously sc uh, scratched on the paper. A harmless invitation. Which gave me a taste of the pleasant idea of a sunny vacation. On board the magnificent sailboat of my host, the wealthy Nicholas Karabujan. Alright, so the protagonist is being invited on a cruise. But just after my arrival, Mr. Dusentier, open up, it's Hector, the butler. Inspector, come quick! Something awful's happened. I swiftly followed the butler's footsteps. We found ourselves at the scene of a crime. Karabujan was stretched out. Well, I approached the body. Ooh! Oh. All right. Before slipping into unconsciousness, two words that came to me. Corpse. Cruise. And that's the start of this adventure game. Again, I have fond memories of this game. Cruise for a corpse. It's a graphic adventure game, and this game was known for its animations. They were really cutting edge at the time. I think we're talking 1991, 92. Game by Paul Guizet. I think it's a French game. Delphin Soft was a French developing house. And you can tell that the developer was really into the, the animation of this game because they're showing it off all the time um, during the uh, intro session. Alright, so tomorrow morning we go. Inspector, Inspector du Sentier. Good day, sir. I must warn the family. Good. I'll see you in a short while. Alright, so what is actually the story? Well, you know, there's a corpse and it turns out you are an inspector. You are a detective of sorts. And it's a point-and-click adventure game. So let's examine the bookshelf, shall we? Now, I have played this game way back when I was a kid, and I remember that a lot of stuff you can interact with. You can, for instance, just take this book, uh, but not much else you can do with that. So, I'll put it back. So, there's a lot of things you can click on, but that won't progress the story. So... What we have here, for instance, is a chair, but you can't uh, replace it. So here's an ashtray. Let's look into the ashtray. Hmm, bizarre, bizarre. Not a shred of evidence in this ashtray. But the thing is that right next to the ashtray, there's a piece of paper. A little piece of crumbled paper, at least some evidence. Take the paper. So it was a kind of weird 
so when he says there's nothing in the ashtray that when right besides the ashtray there's a little piece of paper so let's read the paper some words have been quickly scribbled on it we must resolve this problem meet me tonight at 8 p.m. at the bar F alright so and if you've done something correctly you'll see that there's a little clock and time moves forward so time plays a very important part in this adventure game uh, also what's really nice is you can click the map so you can move around the uh, the whole uh, cruise ship but you can also sort of click on uh, an overhead view of it and just move around the different locations you will visit it's there not there aren't too many locations so let's go to the bar because the uh, because of the note it said that there was a meeting of the dead person in the bar with a person called F so let's show the piece of paper Oh, that doesn't work. Thought it would would work, cause the barman knows everything. Well, Inspector, may I serve you a little something? No thanks. All right, let's try this again. I have a piece of paper. I'm gonna show it to the guy at the bar. Hmm, I remember it very well. It happened last night. Father Fabiani arrived first, and Mr. Karabujan joined him. They sat here. The father looked furious, but they spoke so low that I could hear couldn't hear a thing. Hmm, thanks for the information. I'll ask Mr. Fabiani. So, oh, he's gonna give me something. In the rush of the father forgot his book. Alright, let's check the little notebook. Or it's a bi some kind of Bible, I think. Prayer book. That's it. Prayer book. So let's read the prayer book. Huh. Let's see. Going through the prayer book, you'll find a letter. Well, let's take the letter then. So the prayer book of the priest, so let's read the letter. Um, I have received some very offensive information. Room is proven to be right. You cannot... There will be severe action against you, the bishop. Okay. So it looks like our friend, the father, Pharrell, has a problem with the bishop. Let's go to... Let's see... So we were at the bar... So let's go to his cabin... Father Fabiani's cabin... So what's interesting about this game is that... Pretty much... If you... Like... If you... Like murder stories... And whodunit stories... This is... A game for you, really... Um, there... I think there's a bedspread. There's something under the bedspread, so let's pull it away. Um, and what is there? It's a teddy bear. <laughs> it belongs to Mr. Dick. I'm not sure who that is, but there's a mattress. Let's lift the mattress. It's too heavy. So you can do a lot of these interactive things, but it won't help you progress the story. So what you'll be doing is sort of pixel hunting through all these screens, but you'll have to pull out the suitcase because that is an important hint. Let's open the suitcase. Ooh, playing cards, dice, roulette, wheel and chips. This suitcase is a real casino on wheels. So it looks like Father Fabiani is a gambler. So all the characters you'll meet in this game, they have, they might have a reason to kill the host and it's up to you to find out who murdered him. So let's go to the dining room for a little chat, I think, with the f with the father, Father Fabian. Here we go. Good morning, my son. I came from the bar, and the waiter told me that you have my prayer book. Yes, I do. I'll return it. Ah, uh, at my age, I forget things. You know, my memory starts to go. All right, so can I help you, Inspector? Well, you might. And now it is crucial that you talk to all the characters on the boat, on the ship, about themselves, about other people, so you'll learn more about them. So he's a close friend of the Karabujan family. Let's confront him with the letter from the bishop. Oh, it's none of your business. Oh, touchy touchy. Where'd you get this? Mind your own business, Inspector. Okay, so he didn't like me snooping around his cabin in his suitcase. 
so he has a gambling problem. So let's talk about the bu butler. He's a good butler, Hector. Let's talk about various uh, the meeting at the bar because you were part of that. You were you met the dead guy. So what? Well, he's not very talkative. So what? Nicholas' death. Sad news. Nicholas was a good man. Okay, so at this point in the game, I don't seem to get a lot from him. So thanks for talking. And as you can see, time sort of progresses as you go through. Oh, well, what I really like about this scene: look at the f look at the father. He's drinking his wine. And, you know, wiping his mouth, all that, eating, it's really funny to, to look at. <laughs> it's, just, it's just crazy. Okay, so, let's move on. Hmm, let's, um, let's see, we can use the map and then we'll uh, see where to go next. I think we... see the bar should we go to the bar also the the um, the factor of time uh, played an important part in this game because as time moves on or progresses people on the boat will uh, move around and things will change and I'll give an example later on but um, first let's go to the upper deck and talk to Susanna see what he, she has to say who she is and so forth so you really need to talk to these characters and get to know them who they are what their connection uh, with some of these uh, other people in the boat is alright so she is quite friendly, it turns out, with Fabiani, the priest, or Father Fabiani. I'm afraid that there are some nasty people. Alright, so Fabiani's worries. Um, Father Fabiani's a good friend. Yes, let's talk about you. I'm a very good friend of the Karabujan family. Okay. Let's talk about the butler, because the butler is always guilty, of course. Okay. Mm hmm. Let's talk about the meeting at the bar. She knows mm, I was sleeping at the time. Okay. Poor Hector seemed really shocked when he told me of the news. He was really devoted to Nicholas. Uh, fright, uh, very surprised by Daphne's cold bloodedness. Daphne. Okay. About his father's death. Okay, so we have also there's on the ship the daughter of the dead person. Okay. That's informative. Thank you for talking to you. So that was Susanna. She's a good friend with the father. Um, all right, so let's think. So we found out she's good friends with the father, so we might want to talk to the father later on. Again, let's go. Or we might go to the smoking lounge. Right. Here we go. There's another character here sitting. And um, let's talk to him. What can I do for you, Inspector? Well, who are you then, huh? Tom, my solicitor's office sh uh, oh, takes care of the business of the dead guy. Okay, what about Fabiani? Old friend of the Karabujan family, right? Uh, I didn't know anything about the letter, about his worries. No, okay. Hmm. He denies everything. He's a good lawyer, I guess. <laughs> um. Okay. So, all right. So he he does share with me the fact that the father is a gambler. All right. So Father Fabiani probably has a lot of depths or something. I don't know. Let's talk about. Susanna. Just met her up on the deck. Oh, she likes to stick into n people's uh, other people's business. Stick her nose into that. It's a good friend of Father Fabiani. Oh, so there's a friendship going on. You really have to take note with all the all these characters and their relationships between them. They've known each other for a long time. Okay. 
All right, she's a very nosy pe uh, person, Susanna, so let's talk about the Hector, the butler. Hector is Nicholas' butler and his right arm, I suppose. What about his devotion? He's already working for Nicholas when I met him. They shared a closeness. Okay. Various or let's talk about various meeting at the bar. Does he know anything about that? I don't know. Okay. He was in his room. Nicholas death. Oh, he wasn't the saint, but I can't see who wants him dead. Okay. Well, there's a whole bunch of people who might have a motive. Uh, I don't know. So thanks for your help. So each time you you kind of talk to a person, time moves forward. And um, things kind of change, might change. So let's just see what uh, what to do next. I don't know. Um, we might um, want to go another to another place. Let's see. Let's go back to the upper deck and talk to Susanna. I might want to talk about. Uh, talk to her about um, Tom, the solicitor, and maybe her relationship to him, or... So you, you need to, to talk and come back and talk more with these characters, uh, because they might ha there might be new uh, subjects to talk about. Tom is, is a solicitor, okay. Thanks for your help. So that didn't uh, offer some new information, it seems. Um, Maybe I forgot something to ask Susanna. Did I? I don't know. Let's, uh... Might want to go back to the dining room. See if we can talk to the father again about his relationship. Ah! We can speak to him. Of course, to, uh, his relationship to Susanna. Alright, can I help you, Inspector? Let's talk about Susanna. And your relationship. Is She's a brave girl. Oh, really? We've been good friends for a long time. Okay, so that does not offer a lot of new information. Okay, he's continuing with his uh, dinner, it seems. Alright, now what next? Um, so far it's only been just talking to people, moving around the ship, and uh, see what... Uh, yeah, what will come... Uh, what comes next, I guess. Uh, by the way, I would like to uh, apologize for the uh, audio quality. It's not great. Um, I'm aware of that. So, but let's move on. Just bear with me, please. Alright, so let's go to the main deck. See if we can talk to other people here. Uh, as I remember correctly, you could be stuck. Let's knock on the door. No, no answer. Let's open it. No, it's locked. Alright. Oh, that doesn't help. Um, let's go to the other door. Knock, knock. Can we open the door? No, it's locked. Okay, so... But if you come back here uh, after some time, it might... You know, the, the door might be open, so... And that makes this game a bit... I'd say difficult for a lot of people, because things could change. And not always logical, but we'll get there. Um, let's try this door. So the first, basically your first objective is to talk to all the people. Ha 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 ha! What a cap! Ahem, may I ask a few questions? All right. Um, sorry, Signor Inspector. Daphne is not well enough to see you, and I will answer your questions at the moment. Okay. So he, he is the boyfriend of Daphne, who is the daughter of the dead guy. Very good. I will question Daphne later on. All right. Let's talk about Tom. Oh, El Signor Logan is a tough hombre. I think he likes me not. Okay. F 
So well, let's talk about you, Julio. And um, Dev needs Amigo. Uh, I hope so. Okay. So Julio. Well, let's talk about Fabiani. El Padre Fabiani. He's a very nice guy. Okay. Uh, he doesn't know anything about the letters. I don't know anything about the his worries. Uh, what about? No, he's never heard of that. The uh, friendship, Miss Suzanne and Padre Fabiani saw each other often. If El Padre had not been a priest, I would have sworn there was something between them. Oh, no, seriously, I heard that Suzanne is under medical treatment and El Padre is in charge of watching over her. He even insisted Susanna to be invited on the screws. Aha, that's interesting. So Susanna is a little bit uh, ill and she was invited on this cruise obviously by Fabiani okay let's see what about um, the let's see Fabiani now let's talk about H Hector the butler Hector is el butler del señor Carabugia and he is a strange señor okay so everybody sort of <laughs> suspects the the butler of course he followed Karabujan everywhere. Oh, really? That's it's interesting. So it looks like the butler is sort of the obvious suspect, but probably he's not the killer. All right. So we talked to Julio, and now let's see if we can. Um, I think we need to head back. Well, you know, we've met Julio, so Julio, so we might want to talk to the other character. Let's talk to Tom. Oh, he's not here. Tom is not here. Oh, uh, that's interesting. But there is something here below the seat. Let's pick that up. All right, so that was a good idea. So we might want to see what we found, a piece of paper, what does it say? A recept for a diamond Cartier bracelet costing $3,000 to Mr. Thomas Logan. Oh, he is uh, the solicitor, so he bought... Oh, let me think, there there's might be, but I'm guessing here, there might be a love triangle going on, because Tom bought this jewel for somebody, it might be Daphne or even Susanna, who knows? knows. And, and the story is really what I like about this game. You just want to move through it. Well, let's talk a lot to the uh, the priest again. See what he has to say about some other things. Susanna, I've talked about him there. Uh, Julio, okay. He's a nice boy, but he's not very active. Right, Suzanne, a friendship. I think we're already. The thing is, which which I don't like is that you. Oh, she really wanted to go on this cruise. Was, uh, but the host wasn't really uh, enthusiastic about that. Okay. What I don't really like about the game is that these dialogue options. You, you might forget that you already talked about a certain subject, but it's not clear from selecting that stuff. Oh, Susanna and Nicholas were cat and dog. Oh, they didn't like each other, really? They had a dispute? So, Susanna, his friend, the priest's friend, had a has had some trouble with, uh, with the host, Nicholas, who is dead. That's interesting. So, you got to keep notes, actually, f what is going on between these, these all these characters. And that's, that's sort of the, the nice thing about uh, this game. But it makes it all co uh, quite complicated terms of story um, yeah so let's move on let's see where we go we can go to the bar let's see what we, uh, who ends up there wait so oh as you can see we have Susanna she was first she was up on the deck but now she's in the bar so as you can see as time moves forward uh, characters end up in different places, and they might have different things to say. So we can talk to about Julio. Julio is the eldest son of a Spanish industrial family. He's very rich. 
Uh, he likes cards, to race cards. He's a driver. And there isn't a lot he has achieved so far. He's crazy about race cars, but I'm afraid uh, he would do better not to get involved in the family business. It's kind of a textile business, but she's not quite sure. And Julio will be able to tell me more about that. Has a huge family fortune. So, what, sh you know, I'm not really sure why he would kill the host then, huh? Alright, so, what about the quarrels with Nicholas? That's a new thing. He didn't like him very much, the, no the host, okay. I was surprised by Nicholas' invitation, you know. Alright, so, I guess the, uh, the priest made sure she was on the boat. And uh, she doesn't want to talk about her dispute with uh, with the host, with Nicholas. So thanks for your help then, huh? Alright, so time moves forward again. So I guess I'm on the right track. Ah, that's good. So. so we've got a lot of information from these characters and their motives and what why they're here. And what kind of a relationship they're in with other people, other... Other passengers on the uh, on the cruise, right? Have we forgotten something to ask her? I don't know. Let's um, see. But again, it's, it's it becomes kind of a mess. All these uh, dialogue options, and I'm not sure if I've. You really need to um, make sure that you've talked with every character about every possible dialogue option. Right, so that's uh, that's the way to go. Talk to everybody. All right, let's uh, let's uh, let's move around again. Let's see if we can uh, we can go. We might want to go to Tom and Rose Logan's cabin. We can also go to Father, or we can go to Nicholas, or my own cabin. Oh, I'm sharing the cabin with Coolio. So we're back in my own. Oh, this is oh, this is what I wanted to show you guys. As you can see, this is my own cabin, right? And um, well, you can interact with some of these uh, things, but I'm going to save the game for now, and I'll continue from this point uh, onward. So let's first let's save. Alright, so, as you can see, this is my own room that I'm sharing with, um, uh, with Julio, alright? Now, we need to talk to Tom and confront him about the Cartier necklace that he bought. So let's see if we can talk to Tom. All right, what can I do for you? Um, all right, so let's talk to uh, let's talk to you about Coolio. Uh, he, he's incompetent. All right, so he doesn't care about his cars. Very considerably rich. The old Nicholas really knew that his daughter would be marrying this guy. All right, let's see. Susanna and Nicholas didn't get along at all. Okay. Now let's talk about the Cartier receipt. Oh, what did you find? It's none of your business. Okay, touchy, touchy, touchy. All right, so looks like this guy doesn't want to talk about the Cartier. Now the problem I will sh th th that this game has is follows. Now I'm going back to my own room on the on the ship. Right, so let's let's go back to the map and select. I see. Let's here. Let's go back to my own room. Right. And um, 
nothing has changed. Nothing has changed at all. So it turns out that I have not exhausted all the dialogue options with Tom. And that's the problem with this game. In order to progress, you need to talk about all the things, everything. You need to talk about everything with every character in order to progress. So I must have forgotten to talk about something. Yeah, he was a gambler, Father Fabiani, but it's not really sure what have I, what have I missed. All right, the Cartier, I've talked about that. I might have missed something about Suz maybe about Susanna. All right, so that's all between them. Okay, so I had to talk to the guy about the invitation. And it turns out Tom shares with me that they hated each other. So Suzanne, Susanna and Nicholas hated each other. So it looks like now we've actually exhausted all the possibilities with Tom. And time moves forward. Now in order to progress, and I didn't know that at first, I've been stuck for a long time this part of the game, is now you need to go back to your own room. Because something has changed, because time has moved forward. And that makes it really hard, because you just don't know what has changed throughout the uh, game once time progresses. But it turns out if you come back to your room, something has changed. Namely, the fact that there is a key here. Now, this key wasn't here before when I came to this room. It's right here, so it might be that Julio came to the room, dropped the key. Who knows? It, it, the game doesn't tell you, and it moves forward time, so this is the right track. So, that's Cruise for Corpse. Let me know if you want me to play this, continue playing it. See you next time.